Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Dell Technologies World here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Dave Vellante. We are joined by Chandamoy Mendel. He is the Director of Solutions Marketing for Dell EMC. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Happy to be here. Direct from Boston. We're, this is a Boston panel, I yes. love it. I love it. <laughs> and we were on the same flight yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Us and half of uh, Hopkinton. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we, we're here at Dell Technologies World, but you're here to talk to us about SAP. Explain to our viewers a little bit about the connection between your companies. Sure. So SAP connects a lot of our customers. They are running their ERP, CRM, uh, digital procurement, HR systems, and many other workloads on SAP. And we, Dell Technologies as a company, have a portfolio of solutions to support SAP workloads. So uh, that's the big connection, SAP and Dell EMC, we are big partners and we work hand in hand as well. So talk a little bit about what customers, SAP customers are doing. You know, everybody knows the stories of SAP, multi-year implementations, you know, very complicated, although you know, driving business value, but today people want to be more agile, cloud, HANA has been around now for quite a number of years. SAP obviously pushing hard for a number of reasons. Um, what are you seeing in the customer base? So yeah, SAP customers are in a journey. Uh, as you mentioned, the SAP landscape's implementations, in fact, in 2016, greater than 50% of SAP landscapes were running on Oracle. Uh, SAP has come up with the in-memory database SAP HANA, and there is a mandate that by 2025, the customers need to be running on SAP HANA for to run any SAP workload. So customers need to go through that uh, transition, and as uh, the data explodes from IoT, big data, blockchain, uh, next-gen intelligent applications, they are driving a lot of analytics, and SAP has come up with a platform called SAP Leonardo for machine learning. So customers are trying to consolidate their old SAP landscapes on an agile modern infrastructure. They are planning to migrate on the older databases to SAP HANA. At the same time, they are looking into deploying SAP Leonardo to take advantage of like IoT, AI, blockchain, all those things. So SAP is dangling the carrot. With HANA, it's in memory performance, you know, efficiency. Uh, with Leonardo, it's the it's the the promise of machine intelligence. But there are challenges in in migrating off of, of Oracle. How are customers dealing with that? Are you guys in a position to to help with the partnership with SAP? Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, yes, uh, SAP implementations, as you know, is fairly complex. Tech many months, years, and customers have been running SAP for a long time. So. Their challenges are, how do we keep our businesses running while we need to transition from what we have to this SAP HANA-based deployments? They are looking into modern infrastructures that will be able to consolidate all of this, run their applications with the same SLS, and at the same time, when they migrate one application to the next on SAP HANA, that platform should be able to adapt and deliver all the SLS. So refactoring what they have into this SAP HANA is really big for all of our customers. And like how to have like a better performing uh, platform, how to deliver the agility simplification, right? Uh, as well as like lower the TCO. These are the projects that uh, CIOs are running for our customers. So as, as we know, simpler is better, it's always better. Can you talk about some of the ROI? What, what, what are companies actually seeing in terms of these benefits? So yeah, like let's take specific examples. Uh, Dell EMC PowerMax is the backbone of like running SAP applications for a long time. I mean, the uh, uh, previous generations in terms of VMAX, VMAX, all flash. Now with uh, PowerMax, it has the highest scalability of the SAP HANA, it can actually run 162 SAP HANA nodes on a single array, but that's not the end game. The thing is, it can consolidate 
एस ए पी ट्रेडिशनल एस ए पी वार्कलोड्स एस ए पी हाना एज वेल एज आदार मिक्सड वार्कलोड्स वाइल डेलीफारिंग द सेम पार्फरमेंस मैचिंग दि एस एल एस उथ इट्स बिल्ट इन मेशन लार्निंग कैपाबिलिटीज ओके हाउ वट डज दैट ट्रांसलेट टू राइट सो उई हैव लाइक सेवरल कस्टमर सींग बेनिफिट्स आउट ऑफ दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिग स्पोर्ट्स इक्विपमेंट मैन्युफैक्चर वेन द मूव टू दिस प्लैटफॉर्म ओके दे आर सॉफ्टवेयर क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस प्रोसेस इट यूज टू टेक लाइक टेन डेज इन देर ओल्डर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नाउ दे कूड रन ऑन दिस न्यू प्लैटफॉर्म इन टू डेज दैट्स लिटरली लाइक एट्टी परसेंट इम्प्रूवमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दि हायर परफॉर्मेंस uh the more consolidation that they were able to achieve so that's kind of like one example just from the performance uh, perspective but if you take a like consolidation simple uh simpler to run there are other examples i can actually walk you through so i want to double click on that because every storage company wants to partner with SAP sure. target those guys because oracle's not that friendly these days they have their own hardware right they're trying to elbow you out with exadata so Talk a little bit more about the differentiation that Dell EMC brings relative to some of your other storage competitors, specifically within SAP environments. Uh, sure, so first, Dell comes in with a portfolio of solutions. As uh, you were mentioning, these are fairly complex deployments, right? And customers are looking for a trusted partner uh, with professional services experience and a portfolio of uh, solutions, not just one solution fits all, just to continue on that aspect right yes i talked about dell emc power max it's great for uh, consolidation uh, for like running hana and like uh, the existing workloads but then when you look at the uh, next generation of applications the iot uh, ai blockchain the unstructured world uh, dell emc isolon is a great platform which has already been in the market and in the forefront of like ai workloads So, Dell as a company offer a portfolio of solutions, and it's not a piecemeal. We we see the broader picture and plug in all the right pieces with the right consulting services as well, so that the customers can run their applications day in and day out, and transition as well as bring in new deployments like uh, SAP Leonardo. And I'll give you one example here. Uh, so, another like. big service provider they are analytics the sap apos used to take like 32 hours of run time and they could only do in weekends now with this dell emc storage solutions they are actually uh, down to a uh, give or take like 7 hours so that's like 78% improvement in terms of how fast uh, they can run this analytics and this is turning into a uh, better decision making for the procurement manager for the business analyst and they are able to drive value from like time to market time to value from all the data that's captured in this sap landscape and these are real time or near near real time analyses that are going on right um but then ultimately you have to persist the data that's where things like power max come in yes and then sometimes you got to bring it back in and so What are you guys architecting like high speed interconnects and infinibands and all kinds of crazy stuff all kinds of things NVMEs. and actually like you brought up a very good point sap hana is an in memory database right so everything is running in the uh, memory speed why do you need a high performing array like uh, dell emc power max right guess what everything is in memory but this is all critical databases everything needs to be persisted back to the uh, storage array and then when something reboots you cannot like uh, stay still till all the data is back from the storage array into the memory so persisting the data quickly and fast reboots are also necessary driving the needs of uh, throughputs like what power max provides 150 gigabytes uh, gigabits uh, per second throughput so that's where the connection uh, comes in So the, the throughput you're just describing really would be were unthinkable five years ago. Can you talk a little bit about reflect on that a little bit in terms of what you've seen the technology do that you really couldn't have even imagined it doing, e even in very recent times? So in fact, that's a very good point. Uh, one of the customers that participated in this like TOI study, they mentioned when they they wanted to go to the cloud, public cloud, when 
they wanted to go to the cloud at that time, uh, the maximum like, size of our database you could do was like 2.5 terabyte. And they already had like a four terabyte uh, SAP database. So there was no way they could go to a, a public cloud. What they were looking into the cloud operating model so that you can actually uh, be flexible with your infrastructure, uh, consume as you go, and we were able to help in that transition with all of the uh, solutions. Great. So where wh where do you think we're going to be going? I mean, I mean, in terms of next year's Dell Technologies World 2020, <laughs> which will be big just because it's a cool number. What where, what do you think we'll be talking about next year's conference? So, yeah, like uh, that's a very good point. And uh, as you mentioned, 2020, like we are already like seven billion people. And they are, by 2020, it's predicted to be like 30 billion devices generating 44 zettabytes of data. So managing all of these uh, data, putting the data at the right tier, the data that needs to be accessed uh, quickly to make real-time analysis versus the data that's seven years, uh, seven days old, putting them in the right tier, accessing them, and driving the value from your data, from this vast amount of data, so that you can make better decisions, you can uh, gather intelligence, and take this value uh, to drive compet competitive differentiation is like will be like where we are, and the form factor. Yes, like everybody will like will be able to do all of this, pretty much like real time, in this. Uh, phones or even smaller devices. It's the March to 2025 when everybody's going to be off Oracle. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your mandate. Yeah, right, so uh, you want, at D Vellante if you want to talk about that. We've done a lot of research on it. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not trivial. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chandamoy, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It was a pleasure having you. Same here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. We will have much more of theCUBE's live coverage of Dell Technologies World coming up in just a little bit.